Hello and welcome. Today we are expanding our knowledge of decision making in JavaScript. We're going to explore some examples of switch statements. Let's get started. Switch statements are another tool for making decisions with JavaScript. Let's take a look at the switch statement syntax. A switch statement checks an expression or value and then takes a waterfall shape to check any number of possible cases. The logical order of the cases is important. If case one is a match, the switch statement should be stopped with a break command and never make it to the evaluation stage of case two. After any number of possible cases, switch statements are completed with a default option that is chosen if none of the above cases are a match. Now let's look at an example. We'll start by evaluating a string with a value of two in our switch statement. We'll set up case values for numeric data of one, two, and three. If there's a match, we'll log an appropriate value. If there's no match, we'll log a string saying no match. What do you think will happen? If you said no match, you're right. The numeric cases will not match the string value of two. The data types do not match. Switch statements need strict matches. If we change the evaluated data to numeric type, we'll start to see some matches. You can also ask switch statements to evaluate an expression. Let's put the random number expression that we previously learned into our switch statement. We'll have it generate a random number from one to three. I'll save the file a few times to generate a few new numbers. This expression will never trigger our default result at the bottom of the statement. Let's change the expression to generate a number from one to five and see if we can get the default option after a save or two. Let's apply a switch statement to the decision tree for rock, paper, scissors. We'll start with two variables, player one and computer, both set to rock. We'll pass the value of player one to our switch statement. The first case will evaluate player one to see if it is identical to the computer value. If this case matches, we'll log tie game. We'll then create cases for each value of rock, paper, and scissors. However, scissors will just be the default option since it will be the only possible outcome at that point of the statement. I'll quickly finish typing the code and we'll check the results of the statement. Let's change the computer variable value to paper and see what result we get. Now let's change the value of player one to scissors and look at the outcome. And finally, let's change the value of computer back to rock and check the result. And there you have it. Switch statements are another tool in your JavaScript decision-making arsenal. Developers often try to avoid using switch statements for a variety of reasons, but sometimes they are necessary. Switch statements are an important fundamental to know. Hi, I'm Dave, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Remember to keep striving for daily progress instead of perfection. Subscribe to my channel and ring the bell to be alerted when I post new tutorials. I'll see you next time.